Hey guys, I'm just continuing straight on from the previous video. So what I didn't include in the last video was that these um, degrees of freedom and how I've labeled them are the exact same in this case here. So that would be 5, 6, just putting a bit to the side, 2, 1, 3, 4, same thing down here, 5, 6, 2, 1, 3, 4. Okay, now moving on to... Okay, so now we've done um, finding equivalent loads in fully fixed condition. That's done. We now need to develop our stiffness matrix for each member. So we know that the general formula for a stiffness matrix is this thing here, EI outside of all that. So we're going to look at member one first. Okay, so as I like to always do, we're going to find 12 on L cubed. So that would be 12 on 12 cubed, which would give us 0 0.0069. 6 on L squared, which would be 6 on 12 squared, which would give us 0 0.042. We need 4 on L, which would be 4 on 12, which would be 0 0.33. And 2 on L, which would be 2 on 12, which is 0.17. So that's all the values we need, and now we're just going to go simply fill it out. So we're going to call this K subscript 1 for the, the local K matrix equals EI outside of. Okay, so 12 on L cubed is 0 0.069. 6 on L squared is 0 0.042. Minus 12 on L cubed is minus 0 0.0069. Sorry, that actually needs to be 0 0.00. 6 on L squared, 0 